Welcome back to the page. We're just going to go over real quick how to install some LUTs and what you need to do for the uh, Z9 uh, RAW files. So we're just going to Google Nikon N-Log LUT, download it from the Nikon page. And really you just need this. It does a pretty good job at editing your N-RAW. Once that's installed, you have to figure out how to put it in DaVinci Resolve. So then we'll just open that up and open up a project I already started. And then you have to go to your color page. And you have to go in top left your LUTs, click on a LUT, open Reveal and Finder if you're on Mac or open a library on a PC. And you just gotta create a new folder for your uh, Nikon. And that download LUT has a LUT for all the Nikons, so we're just going to drag and drop the Z9 LUT in there. That's the only one we're really going to need. And now that it's in there, you can exit out of Resolve and open it back up. That way it will refresh. And now you can see in the list on the left side for the LUTs, it's right there. And now we'll find our NRAW NEV files. Drag and drop it on the timeline. As you can see, it's kind of edited. It's not right in the, in, the, in the profile here. So we're going to go back to the color and go to the bottom left of the camera raw and select Nikon default. That way it will show Rec 2020 and Nikon N-Log as shot for the white balance. And it looks kind of grayed out like normal raw now. So now we're just going to add a node and drag and drop the uh, Z9 LUT onto it. As you can see, it did a pretty good job of getting a basic edit on there. And for myself, I just add a little bit of contrast, some temperature, color boost, your shadow, and highlight adjustment. If you want the shadows to pop a little bit, just add some more contrast and lower them a little bit. And now we'll see the before and after. I think it worked out pretty good. For the most part, this looks pretty good. And here's two examples of the finished product. And honestly, I think it turned out pretty good, but for the amount of time it takes to add these edits, the LUTs, and adjust the colors with the nodes, and the export time, and the file sizes of the original files. I'm probably only going to do this for very specific situations. As 265 10-bit right out of the camera looks pretty nice, and you can still adjust that pretty nicely in, uh, in post. So if this was helpful for you, please uh, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Comment down below what you think.